Monday morning at Leopard Creek and we have some unfinished business with the Alfred Dunhill Championship because thunderstorms rolled in yesterday and uh, we could not complete the final round on Sunday so we are back here to finish things off. Unfortunately it's just started to rain very heavily. Well this is the best leave out the lot. Loads of green away for Louis. He can use the camera to green just filled it down to the hole. Wow. <laughs> Fabulous touch. Yeah, this is a tough cookie. I mean, the pins over on that left-hand side, just a couple of paces from the water. It's a must-find fairway. I mean, this rough being juicy now with the Bermuda grass, about three inches deep as well. The ball nestles down and you don't want to be off the beaten track. Beautiful drive, right down the middle. Putts and run. This is a tester for Louis Lazen. He's hit some wonderful putts from this range so far this week. Is he going to be able to get the pace right again? Is he ever? Oh my goodness. That is that is fabulous touch. Because it's a lightning fast green, but it's the surface is wet with the rain. It's going to slow it down, but how much is it going to slow it down? And he's been absolutely mustered from this range all week. Flighting them in nicely. It's a different ball game now, though. Yeah, nice. Just hitting it softly, trying to take spin off it. Oh, my goodness. That is world class. The plan, the execution, the amount of spin he's put on it, or lack of spin, really. You're always going to get a bit when the greens are this way. That is just brilliant. No problem whatsoever. You know, the upslope out of play, the guessing game, how it's going to land into it. Is it going to grab on the first one? First landing, he's going to just take that out altogether. So he's got the moose lofty, lofty club in the back out to ge generate a little bit more spin. Goodness me, goodness me. Yes, it's run on seven or eight feet, but it was. Lovely shot. It really was. Delicious. Started up the right at the bunker and try and draw it back. He's letting go of the club with his right hand again. And somebody said that he'd actually hurt his arm mm. on Friday. Mm. Yeah, apparently he tore a couple of tendons in his left arm. It's definitely having an effect. Those are two world-class shots. Tough shots, tough angle, wet fairways. Oh, yeah, he was he was helped by Schwarzel's misread of the line. Back in front on his own. Just poured it in, didn't he? <laughs> Beautiful, like syrup. Trying to pitch it straight over the flag into that back slope, pushed it. Yeah, got a little movement off the right hand side for, for Louis to contend with here for his birdie. Up the hill. Got another one. That is two in a row and three in the last four holes as Louis Eustazen starts to take control of this tournament, moves two clear of Schwarzel.
once again it's another wonderful wet shot from Louis Eustacen and he's got a chance to turn the screw a little bit more to make birdie there ask the question of Schwartzel and Bezaid note it just seen what Christian's bought in his closing stages towards the hole so he's got a clear train of thought to slot this baby in for another birdie Oh, he's put the hammer down, hasn't he? This is wonderful play from Louis Oosthuizen. Four under for the day. That is three birdies in a row. Only 169 yards off this tee. So playing a little shorter than it was in day one and day two. And he seems happy with that. Oh, beautiful. Do you think he pushed that down a little? The 17th, just going to hit this one, just shy of the bunkers. One little lonesome bunker in the middle of the ferry. Just want to dodge that one. <laughs> Appears to have found the sand. What do you reckon, John? Brilliant, honestly, the green just sits towards him nicely for this chip, Dom. The way he's been playing these, he not expect it to be any more than, say, four or five feet away. Himself a chance of his part. Oh, oh that really stuck. Mm. Bogey five, who stays back to 18 under, so the lead is two. With just the par five 18th to come. Anyone who has watched this tournament down the years will know that we have had some very strange things happen on the closing hole here at Leopard Creek. Is it heading right? He's leaning left. Oh, here we go. Tree. Caught a tree. That looks like it could be in the water. I'm running over for you now, guys. Are you joking? I oh, know. Was that a ricochet off the tree, Moggsy? It sounded like it. Yeah, there was a bit of tree, tree noise going on. Oh, my goodness. This ain't over. So, Stazen has taken his drop. Yeah, I'm playing his third now. It's not an easy layup, though, is it, John? It, it's easy. Well, it's quite easy to get it wrong and land on the downslope. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you go too far, as Tony's alluded to. We, you know, you go down to that last level before the water. Just makes it so awkward. You know, it's uneven territory down there with, with regarding the lie of the land with the fairway. So you sit yourself well back. You've got a nice yardage. He's been mustered with his wedges, so he's got to play to his his strengths now. Sean's got a wedge out already. That's making me think he's laying up. Oh, that's a bit heavy handed. for it to sit there's the spin well this stays and we'll have that for a five loads of green will work with a bump and run up the slope how close can he get it oh he just dug his hooves in wow that's a surprise I genuinely thought he'd get that within maximum four or five feet the one event I really wanted to win in my career he said earlier this week and he has got the one he really wants as well that is a sensational putt from Ustazen 
my word, what a way to finish. It was all getting very tense, wasn't it? But he has got the title. He will get the trophy. Yeah, Charles is not going to be grudgingly with that one, is he? In fact, he'll be delighted for him, despite the fact that he's come second. Happy chappy, Louis Oosthuizen. Louis, you've finally done it. You're the champion of Leopard Creek, Alfred Dunhill yeah. champion. How do you feel? I feel, um, I feel uh, very calm now. Um, <laughs> You know, Roops put a text this morning to us. He said, whoever plays 18 the, um, thinking or thinking the best on 18 is going to win this. And um, I just got on that tee shot and, and I wanted to hit a seven wood, but with all the rain, it, it just felt like it was so wet while I was standing. I'm, I'm just going to hit my driver down the left and obviously made a bad swing. But but um, yeah, look, the golf course was unbelievable. Uh, I can't believe we got a fourth round in with everything we got. and. Um, it's such a great place to come to and yeah this is a tournament that i really really wanted i know you did and you took it out in style you know you went head to head with your man shawl there and he's the master of this place oh, oh absolutely um shawl played played great i mean I had, I had a good run then at the end um on 13 through to 15 and um you know i'm glad to see charlie with all the things he was going on with his shoulder with with injuries that he's that he's playing well and and um I just got lucky on this one. Oh, yeah. you had a little injury as well? A little pull tendon somewhere yeah, on the arm? Yeah, I'm managing it pretty good, so it's fine. No, it's good, man. Well, you're a great champion. You are the Alfred Dunhill champion. Well done, my friend. Thank you. Thanks. Well, he's putting some strain on those tendons, isn't he, by lifting that uh, trophy, but that will take pride of place on the mantelpiece. Well, it's been another special week, hasn't it, Tony? I know you've been, enjoyed being here. I know you'll be loath to leave as well, but I tell you what, we've seen some golf out there. Oh, it's been a fabulous week. It really has. You know, the, the course, the golf, the fact that we got this final round done, I think it's almost miraculous. And yes, it'll be another year, a long year, till we get back to Leopard Creek and the Alfred Dunhill Championship. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.